Here's the thing, for you to build a successful law firm, and when I talk about successful law firm, let me define it. It's a law firm that provides you with financial freedom so that you can do what you want to do, when you want to do it, as in you're making plenty of money and it gives you the freedom to not have to work there. Most lawyers are slaves to their firms, as in the moment they stop working, that's the moment when the cash flow from the firm stops. So you absolutely want to build a sustainable, viable, profitable, real business in order to have that freedom. And in order to build that business, you have to make a choice. Remember that famous scene from uh, the original Matrix movie where Neo is standing in front of Morpheus and Morpheus says that once you learn what you're about to learn, you're not going to be able to forget it. So you have to make a choice to take the blue pill or the red pill. I think the blue pill was the status quo. Forget about the meeting, forget about everything that you learned and just go back to the old ways. And the red pill would show them the truth and it will not be ever unlearned. How do you go about this as a lawyer? Well, the main thing is if you are to take the red pill is that you have to think about it this way. The red pill is for you to start thinking about how to transition from being a lawyer to being a CEO of your law firm. It's a very different job. I know that you're probably very comfortable being an attorney. You're probably very good at what you do. The thing is that business owners of substantial, sustainable, profitable businesses make a lot more money than laborers. And lawyers, truthfully, are the laborers. Work long hours to make the money that you have to make and you have to serve clients all the time. CEOs of companies, do not do that. So you have to transition your thinking from today I'm a lawyer to tomorrow, sometime in the future. That's not too distant. I want to become a CEO of my law firm. How do you do it? You have to focus on the following. First, you have to develop a business acumen. You really have to understand how a business operates. This is not something that you learn in a law school. Law school teaches you to become a specialist in law not a business person. Business school does that, but I assume that you do not want to spend another two, three years studying somewhere in, for a new line of work. So this academy that I am creating, all this content is helping you gain that knowledge that you need to gain in order to build a substantial, profitable, viable law firm business much faster much less expensively. In fact, we will never charge you for all of these lessons that I'm going to share. All you have to do, as you would in any other job, is implement the things that are right for your business so that you can watch your business grow. So step number one is develop business acumen. Development of business acumen is going to take some time and you need to do this continuously. So I ask you that you watch these videos every day. Set aside 15 minutes to learn more every day, enrich your mind, improve your mindset about working on the business rather than in the business. Lawyers work in the business by providing legal services, which are not as valuable as work of a CEO who is working on building valuable business. So you have to transition that thinking through developing business acumen every day a little bit. Next, you have to build the right team around yourself, the right team for your business. Think of your business as a sport. In order to win in sport, you have to have the best players. Your law firm is no different than sport. In order for your law firm to thrive, you need to develop a business acumen because everything will be kept at a certain level by your business acumen. The more and the better your business acumen becomes, the more your law firm is going to grow into a valuable business. Same thing with the team. The better players that you get, people who know what to do, when to do it, and do it without asking, and at the standard that either you, they, or you and they together set, the better your team is going to play, the more wins it's going to have, and the bigger and more valuable your business is going to become. Last piece that you have to think about and implement into your daily practice is delegate everything that you would delegate as a CEO. You have to transition from being a lawyer, day-to-day -day lawyer working in the business, to becoming a CEO. And the only way to effectively accomplish it is to delegate, delegate, delegate to people who know what to do, when to do it, and do it without you asking them. Super important. 
the challenges that you're going to face in this transition is one, you're going to be playing outside of your comfort zone. Everything that you have been trained for and everything that you have probably done or most of the things that you have done as a lawyer have put you into the comfort zone of being an expert in the legal field. Not the same as being an expert in running a business, being a CEO. So you have to be prepared that you will be stepping outside of your comfort zone more and more and more every day. And the things that are uncomfortable today will become comfortable as long as you practice those things at all times. The next thing that's going to be a challenge is, well, you're not trained for this. You're not trained to be a CEO, and that's okay. This is the challenge that we're going to overcome together. I am going to share with you what I have learned through operating businesses since December of 2000. I've had four businesses now, successful businesses, and I have had a great business school that taught me so many things you need to know in order to operate any service business. This is what this academy is all about. You learning how to successfully operate and build and operate a successful business. The last challenge that you're going to face is you're going to get some pushback. You're probably going to get pushback from your business partner, from your law firm partners. You're probably going to get some pushback from your family. Things are going to have to start changing for you to say, I, in the next year or two or three years, will no longer be a lawyer, I will become a CEO of my law firm. I will build a sizable business that's going to be valuable. Because if I want to retire a few years from now, or if I have to retire a few years from now, I should be able to sell this business at a profit. Something that most law firm owners, small law firm owners cannot do because most law firms are not profitable because once that founding partner or the, the solo lawyer that operates it leaves, so does the revenue that was coming through the door. So I ask you to choose the right red pill because in a few years, your life and your business is going to look completely different. You're going to be a lot more successful. You're probably going to work less for, the, for more money that you're going to make. So choose this path. Focus on becoming a CEO because you are already a CEO probably of your law firm. Just choose to actually operate as a CEO rather than a lawyer that focuses on working in the business rather than on the business. Keep watching these videos. You're going to learn a lot more and you will, as long as you implement, you will build a substantial, sustainable, profitable, valuable business.